Fox. We will get to the latest on the investigation into the botched bank robbery in Saanich in just a moment. First, we are hearing tonight from a woman who was inside the Saanich Bank when gunmen stormed in. Until now, we knew six police officers were shot, two suspects killed, but we knew nothing about what happened in the bank. Anna McMillan sat down with one of the women inside who was overwhelmed with gratitude for the officers who saved her life. Oh my God, Holy dude. F oh my God. As this went down at a bank in Saanich. Bank Holy f Holy f Shelly Fryer says she was cowering inside with roughly 20 other hostages, including a pregnant woman who locked herself in a closet upstairs. When we find out later that all of that, when later, way, 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 way later, that those police officers were injured. <sighs> she had an appointment with the bank manager at 11 a.m. By 11.04, a loud bang cut through the bank. I looked over and could see that everybody had gotten down on the floor. It was dead silent in the bank. And as I was sort of trying to get behind my chair, I look up and in the doorway, two feet away, is a man standing there with an assault rifle. She says he was wearing a protective vest, gear on his shins, and a mask that hid his eyes. And he was just standing there, didn't say a word. Until he turned to the manager and said, vault. And the manager held the keys to him over his desk. And he like shook his head or something and um, as if, no, that's not okay. And he came around the desk and, um, you know, indicated like step back and the manager was going to take him to the vault. Leaving Shelly in the office where she took a risk and called 911, possibly saving lives. And told them there was BMO, Shelburne, robbery, two guys assault rifles. And you had to whisper this. Oh, I whispered. Yeah, I whispered because it was so silent to the bank. I couldn't hear any siren, like alarms. Police say there were two robbers. Shelly is convinced she saw three. The whole vibe was relaxed. That's chilling. It was. She says one masked man was pacing by the office where she was hiding. Slowly, like a country walk in front, back and forth was holding his rifle. He seemed to have missed that I was in there. Eventually, Shelly says she was spotted and left her phone behind. The call still connected. She was ushered to a hallway with bank employees and other customers where they waited and waited. The teller said to me, I don't know why they just didn't take the money and leave. They could have been gone in three minutes. There wasn't any money in the vault. Then she says police announced themselves and the bullets flew. Everyone in the bank took cover until officers came inside. They said, we are so sorry that this happened to you. And they just came in from that. They just came in from seeing their brothers in arms gunned down by these guys because they rushed into a scene that could have been really different. I just... I just don't have the words. I just thank them so much. An immeasurable gratitude paired with painful questions, including who the suspects are and why they did this. Anna McMillan, CTV News, Saanich.